Baoshan Iron and Steel Company Limited is one of the world's most competitive steel enterprises, which ranks second in the crude steel production, first in the automotive sheet output, and first in silicon steel output among all the global listed steel companies. Under the traditional industrial architecture, Baoshan Steel has faced many problems, including 1. Carbon emission is high and the scrap steel recycling is insufficient. 2. Material management relying on labor results in high cost and low efficiency. 3. The quality inspection link completed by on-site labor results in lots of wrong and missed inspections and high safety risk. In the practical application of 5G deterministic network, China Telecom in collaboration with Baoshan Iron and Steel Company Limited, Huawei and Beijing University of Posts and Telecommunications takes a deep dive into exploring the application of intelligent steel production. The super time frequency folding combines with 5G LAN and dual fed and selective receiving which reaches latency and reliability. 4 milliseconds at 99.999%. Relying on the deterministic network, many application scenarios with high requirements for network determinacy is launched, including remote control of overhead cranes, remove control of stacker reclaimer, 5G slack adding robots, automatic driving of heavy load AGV, 5G AI scrap steel crating, and steel surface quality inspection. By deploying deterministic network, the company recycled 250 tons of scrap steel and reduced the carbon dioxide emissions by 1.732 million tons in 2022. Reduced the labor costs 54 million yuan per year. Improved safety. Unmanned crane and AI quality inspection keep steel workers away from dangerous environments. Based on the deterministic network, Bao Steel sets foot on the realistic industrial scenarios by adopting intelligent platforms to realize high-quality development of steel. Driven by the trend of the interconnection of everything, deterministic network is conductive to the realization of autonomy, automation, and intelligent generation in the future industrial field.